Hey guys, welcome to Gobert Power and this is Suki. In today's video, I bring three models of the cells from EVE for you. And this one is LF280. And this one is NB30. And this one is NB31. Next, I will introduce these three cells in details for you. Uh, from the appearance, these three cells are almost the uh, same. Their weight and the dimension are same. And uh, here you can see the inside. This one, 280, the capacity is 280 ampere hours and the voltage is 3.2 volts. The battery energy is 896 watt hours and the inner resistance is less or equal to 0 0.3 milli ohm and also we also can check the model number on the beside the QR code here LF280 and uh, also this one is NB30. And uh, this one is NB31. And uh, it has the nominal capacity is 314 ampere hours. The voltage is 3.2 volts. The inner resistance is less or equal to 0 0.25 milli ohm. Next, let's use the uh, inner resistance tester to test the inner resistance of these three models. This one is the 280. And let's test the, test the NB30. And the NB31. Uh, this is all the inner resistance and the voltage of these three models, the difference. And uh, the inner resistance is a little less than the nominal inner resistance and the voltage, actual voltage is a little beyond the, the nominal voltage. Next, let's talk about the cycle life. How long they last? The EVE LF280, you are looking at 6,000 to 8,000 cycles. After thousands of charges, performance will dip but for setup with lighter use or shorter lifespan is plenty EVE NB30 can hit 10,000 cycles that longer life means more stability and reliability over time for projects needing to run steady for years NB30 cuts down on replacement and downtime NB31 ready for 8,000 plus cycles, a bit less than NB30, but still super steady. The production process, EVE280 uses, uses traditional weeding technology. It's the read and true and keeps cost low, but it's not the best for energy density or consistency. NB30 and uh, NB31. This use lamination technology compared to weighting, it packs more energy into the same size and uh, makes the cells more consistent. That's why these second generation cells are still in the spotlight in big storage systems. They are stable and uh, reliable. And the market fit and uh, how to choose. EVE LF280, affordable and uh, dependable, is not as, possible, as powerful as the uh, NB30 or NB31. 
but is the king of value. If your storage needs are basic, this one is for you. An EVE NB30 and the NB31, these second generation champions are taking over the market with great capacity, low resistance, long life, and cutting edge production. They are built for mid to high end needs. Price wise, they are close, but NB31 edges out slightly on bank for your buck. Let's wrap it up. EVE LF280, NB30, and NB31. Each brings something to the table, whether it's capacity, resistance, lifespan, production, or price. Pick the one that matches your setup, performance goals, and the budget. If you have any questions about the sales, please leave your comments on, the, on this video. We will reply to your question.